About a week ago, I built a clamp that will hold the rings of a segmented bowl together. And it worked really well, but there were a few issues around the nut that puts pressure on the bearing plates that hold the rings together as the glue is being dried. One of these issues was that I have to use a wrench to tighten the nut, which is a little bit of a pain compared to just having a handle attached to the nut. Another issue is that there's a washer between the nut and the bearing plate. I have to use a hand to hold the washer up so that it doesn't fall down into the, the gluing up rings, rings from the bowl where I can't pick it up. What I thought I would do was to combine some of these ideas and make a handle for the nut and build into that the bearing surface that the nut pushes down onto the bearing plates with so that I wouldn't need the washer anymore. I took the square piece of metal that I ended up not using when I built the base for this press and I drilled four holes into that piece of metal. Then I welded the nut to that piece of metal with the four holes in it. I clamped the bolt to that metal plate then clamp that clamp to a cinder block and that let me hold the bolt and plate together while I welded them together. My first weld I pulled the clamp off to see how it held and the bolt just fell right off the piece of metal plate but with some more welding I got it to hold and it was ugly <laughs> so I ground it quite a bit. This was to get the size down so that it would fit in the handle that I was going to make as well. This is the piece of metal with the bolt in it. Now what I'd like to make is the wooden handle that will attach to the metal piece that I just made. In making the wooden handle, it's going to take several operations on the CNC machine. What I need with this handle is a smaller bearing surface towards the center that will bear against the bearing plates of the clamp. I won't be able to tighten the handle if it's contacting the bearing plate further out from the center. You need that leverage of the handle to make this work. So I removed some material from the handle area and left a raised area at the center. Then I carved out the hole for the nut. Then I could cut out the piece from the piece of plywood. One side is done, and I can flip the piece over and get it recentered and cut out a pocket for the metal plate to sit within so that the metal plate will sit flush with the handle surface which functionally isn't necessary, but it just makes it look nicer. <laughs> then I ran the inside of the hole over the shaper to round over the edge to give a little bit of space for the weld. Once I did that, the metal piece fit within the wooden piece. And I centered the nut in the hole and I marked where my four bolt holes were, which I could have cut on the CNC, but I didn't know exactly where they were because the bolt welded to the plate was a handmade object. So it was easier to just mark where they were and then drill those holes on the drill press. Then I sanded the surface that I had taken down on the CNC machine. I attached the metal piece to the wooden piece. Now the first time I did this, the metal piece was a little bit crooked to the wooden piece. Where the bolt was when I welded it wasn't perfect. So I actually added two washers in between the metal and the wood to get it more planar with each other. And then I could tighten up the bolts. At some point, I'll get shorter bolts. These were just what I happened to have. And I have a little test ring. I can put my bearing plate on. And then I can thread the handle on. And it's actually pretty centered, or pretty balanced, and it doesn't have a lot of wobble. And it seems to contact the bearing plate fairly evenly, 
which is important. Now, what I realized at this point, because I hadn't really thought about it, is the ring that I glue up won't fit over the handle, so that as I add more rings, I'm gonna have to take the handle off each time. The fast solution at this point is to just shorten the threaded rod. So I took the handle off, <laughs> and I cut the rod down. I figure at some point, if I need a longer rod, I can just get a, a, a new rod. Since it's just bolted to the base of the press, I can have different rods for different projects depending on what I need. I can put the rod back in again. One thing I wanted to do the last time I was doing this but hadn't gotten to it was to square the rod to the base. My guide rings on the base aren't very useful if the rod's not vertical. Then I put the handle back on again and it's ready for the next time I do a bowl. <laughs> Thanks for watching.